What's up, everybody? Oh, that's not centered. What's up, everybody? It's Mike. Today, I'm gonna do a fun challenge because I feel like I haven't done that in a while. By the way, I'm here with Arise. She doesn't want to be on camera because her makeup's not done enough. Honestly, <laughs> I'm so beautiful with no makeup on. You have no really mic on. Matter. You have no mic on. I'm so beautiful with no makeup on, but it doesn't <laughs> fucking matter. I found a mic, didn't I? <laughs> I'm gonna be doing something that I feel is overdue at this point because one thing we've learned is that I'm a YouTube bartender that does not know fully what they are talking about ever. I have been faking my way through this career my entire life. And for someone that's been faking it, I've gotten pretty far in life. Just like I feel like some people can fake it when they have a sugar daddy and they still get pretty far in life. You are not talking about me. I, re I fully reeled it for everything else, <laughs> bitch. I just refuse to have a real job. <laughs> but I've always said that's the main difference between a bartender and a mixologist. I'm more work experience. A mixologist knows what they're talking about, knows like the history, the science behind everything. Honestly, mixologists make a lot of drinks that taste like perfume. That's what I'm saying! <laughs> I might not know what I'm talking about, yeah. but I will give you something that tastes good in your mouth. So to test just how much I know or don't know, today I'm gonna be taking a mixology quiz. And every time I get a question wrong, I'm gonna take off an article of clothing. So we're gonna be doing a someone's getting naked, ch well, it's someone's getting naked challenge, not really. You're getting naked challenge. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not getting naked. A strip challenge. I could call this a strip challenge. Cock or cocktails. <laughs> yes! I'm clever. <laughs> so Reese is gonna ask me the questions and every time I get one wrong, I'm gonna take off an article of clothing. Oh, Mike, before we start, I got something for you. What? Oh my God, you got me something. I wonder what it could be. Oh my, oh, oh my God, oh my God. It's a sponsor. <laughs> oh my God, do I look crazy? I feel crazy. I've just been in the desert for an entire weekend at a music festival, and I don't know if I could say the name because of brand legal issues. That is why I'm so excited for today's sponsor, Tiege Hanley. They've helped me keep and maintain a skin routine by keeping it uncomplicated as possible. <laughs> Opposite of me. <laughs> See, it says, uncomplicated skincare for men. And as far as I know, I'm a man, sometimes. Now, I recommend you start with the level one system. Oh, look, it's a black towel. That means there's something specific I will not be using this for. If you know, you know. But it'll be great for my face. There's a daily face wash to take care of all that dirt and grime, especially if you've been in the desert for three days. There's an exfoliant scrub that you could use like two times a week to get rid of all those dead skin cells. I wish I had something to get rid of all the dead brain cells. <laughs> a morning moisturizer with SPF 20 to protect your skin from the sun. And a moisturizer you can put on at night to help your skin stay hydrated while you sleep. I wasn't doing this for so long. And that's why I have wrinkles in my 20s. That's why I have to get Botox. Maybe if I use this stuff, I wouldn't have to waste all that money. My favorite thing about this product is it literally comes with instructions. Make this as easy for me as possible. It tells you what to use, how much to use, when to use it. It's literally got directions for morning and night. I used these products for about a week before going to the desert because I knew my skin was gonna go through it. And I'm so thankful that I did because if I didn't, it would look much worse than it does now. And it doesn't look that bad now. Like, I mean, I need to have some water that I need to have. But thank God for this stuff to help me stay hydrated. Let's put some on. Yeah, let's just put some white stuff on my face for a video. <laughs> it goes on smooth. It already, honestly, feels better. <laughs> Their products legitimately make my skin feel so much better. And you don't have to take my word for it. There's literally 5,000 five-star reviews on their website. All from satisfied customers around the world which is unlike my sex history. <laughs> and in addition to the amazing skin you get from using Tiege, there's also incentive benefits. Because some of us need a cookie when we do good things because we are not known for making good, smart choices. <laughs> some of these benefits include 20% off the entire retail price of the box. You can even customize it. What's better than a customized box? I come from the generation of MySpace. We love to customize shit. Exclusive monthly deals. You can pause or cancel your subscription at any time. And it's free US shipping and extremely low cost international shipping. And because Tiege is sponsoring today's video, they're offering you guys a great deal. Just click the link in the description and you will get 30% off your first box. Plus a free gift. Seriously, that's an amazing deal. Just click the link and get started today. Back to the video. Wow. Wasn't that amazing? <laughs> so let's get into the game. Honestly, I hope I don't get naked at all. I hope I know more than I think I do and shut everybody up. Well, none of your audience wants that. Anyway, 
Question one. Okay. What do you call a virgin cocktail? I thought it was called a virgin cocktail. Yeah, it's a virgin cocktail. Oh, good for me. It's. I would. I would. Yeah. What do you call a virgin cocktail? Yes. Water. Uh. A fountain drink? We have like 15 of these questions and you're about to have no clothes on. Okay, hold on, hold on. You better have a butt plug in there. <laughs> <laughs> a soft drink. A soft drink? A fountain drink? It's actually duh. Like it's a duh once you see it. I, I, am I going to be mad? Yes. Honey, ready? What? It's a mocktail. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it here. I hate it here. I hate it here. That's not fair. Yeah, take it off. Anyway. This is like the SATs. It's not fair. That was a really easy one when I saw the answer. I was like, oh shit. So what do I just start with a shirt? You're going to have to lose something. Okay. Well, everyone's going to see my mic. It's meta. It's a mic on a mic. Anyways, question two. What does IBA stand for? Oh my god. When would I ever need to know that? When would I ever need to, like, as a bartender? As it relates to bartenders and stuff. Irritable? No. Bowel ass. I. B A. I. Eba. I. Boof. Adderall. Nope. You're about to be naked though. <laughs> <laughs> I. B. Assing out. <laughs> I. Be, you're about to be assed out. <laughs> no, 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 no. International Bartenders Association. Who? What is that? A Marvel thing? We know you didn't go, but still. <laughs> you're not getting any of these. I just looked ahead. <laughs> you're about to be naked as shit. <laughs> this is this is bullshit. All right, question three. Ready? Mm -hmm. What is the main alcohol in a casino? I didn't even know this. What is a casino? I don't know. Well, that's like a that's a that's a big thing. Vodka. Nope. Take it off. It's gin. I've gotten everyone wrong. Yeah. It's really it's gin. Yes. I've never heard of a casino cocktail. I'm pissed. It sounds like an old person drink. Whatever. Oof. In which cocktail can you find Worcestershire sauce? You should know this. I do know this. I do know this even though I've never had to know this because I know it's a Bloody Mary. Okay, you've got one, finally. Yes! I've never had to make Bloody Mary mix. It's always just been there. I have never had to do that, but I know what's in it. I've seen enough YouTube tutorials. You're drinking alcoholic tomato soup. Question five, which French Caribbean cocktail means literally translated small punch? I would not know this. You're taking it off. <laughs> <laughs> it means small punch. Mm -hmm. Un patit, le patit, un le mai tai. That is Hawaiian. Fuck. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sea breeze. Honey, that's English. Okay, um, uh... Which French Caribbean cocktail means, literally translated, small punch? You won't know this. What is it? Tea punch. T-I. How many have there been so far? Uh, five. And I've gotten one right. Okay, so we're gonna go to question six. Mm. What soft drink is used in a Cuba Libre? Coca-Cola. Oh, you got it right. Yep, that's one of those annoying drinks that's a basic order, but they like to be complicated and call it something fancy. I'm pretty sure that's just like a rum and coke. Oh. I'm pretty sure, don't fact check me. Question seven, what garnish is added to a Negroni? It's two variations of an orange. It's either an orange twist, an orange peel, like a half an orange slice, it's an orange something. Correct, you, said, or you said the words orange peel, that's what it says right here, so yes. you're good. Yeah, because I think Negronis are disgusting. Orange peels are actually really good garnishes, especially with like a reposado tequila. Reposado tequila, a cinnamon rim, and an orange wheel, amazing. What is Brazil's national cocktail? It's something with rum. I need it's South America. Okay, it's something with rum. Um, a mojito. No. What? It's a caprinha. Oh, cap yeah. You know what? I don't like those. I don't like those. I think they smell. I like them. I think they smell. Da na 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 na. Nail. Da na 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 na. Oh yeah. Da na 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 na. Put your feet in the camera and let them pay extra on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why anyone likes feet. My feet are not cute. Look at these feet. Look at these little piggies. Me, 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 me. Oh my God. <laughs> this is a totally different video now. <laughs> Which cocktail was named after a famous American novelist? Collins, Tom Collins. Nope, that's a golfer. How do you know that? Do you wanna take another jab at it? Um, can, is it like multiple choice? Is it A, the Jane Austen? Is it B, the J.K. Rowling? Is it's it transphobic? Right, it's a transphobic drink. <laughs> it's got a big old dick in it. It's not for trans girls. <laughs> I mean, those monsters. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's what she's thinking. Um, is it, oh, is it C, the Peter Tungsten? Or is it D, the Hemingway Special? I virtually understood not one of those. The only one I know is J.K. Rowling. Man. The Tungsten. <laughs> Wrong. 
<laughs> I made that one up. <laughs> what was it? The Hemingway special. It's called the special. That was the real giveaway is that it did not have a real, like it was the name that was a, a name of a drink. Oh, Reese, I have never heard of a Hemingway special cocktail in my entire fucking life. Oh, well, there's definitely a drink called Hemingway. I used to have it in a Miami bar. Okay, he's got underwear on. For once, I actually have underwear on. Ladies, ladies, and gentlemen. <laughs> Wait, give me, give me, give me a beat. Da -na 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 -na. Mm -mm. Don't stop Billy. Can you get it for me? Oh God. Come on. Jesus Christ. You should be used to this by now. You've got four questions left, Mike. Okay. Okay. And only one article of clothing. So I need you to really like start thinking. I got this. Question 10. Mm -hmm. Which syrup is used in a tequila sunrise? Grenadine. Yes. We all take a collective sigh of relief. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Question 11. Which cocktail is garnished with an olive? Martini. A dirty martini. There you go. I was like, bitch, you better take out them panties. So question 13. Two garnishes can be used in an old fashioned. Orange peel is one of them. What is the other one? Cherry. Oh my God. Mm -hmm, bitch. See, I'm pulling it back. You've got I'm pulling it back. I'm one. Like a man with an uncut dick. I'm pulling it back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Gasp. I'm having flashbacks. Okay. I'm like, oh my goodness. You're like, I've been to Miami. Yo, question 14 is your final question. Okay, if I get this right, I get to keep my pants on. What ingredient is added to a gin fizz to make a golden fizz? You have to know this. I know this. No, you don't. I, do, I really do. A gold. So is it like the mixer? A gin fizz, in order to make it a golden fizz, it's got to be some kind of yellow mixer. So I'm going to say, and if you know it, then it's probably something that you order before. So I'm going to use context clues, and I'm going to say when you add pineapple juice. Nope. What? Let's take another jam at it. Uh, <laughs> makes drinks fizzy. Champagne. I wouldn't call it fizzy. I'd call it frothy. Adding in egg white? Yes. Really? Yes. That's why I said I know I've had it before because I was disgusted when I saw them make it. I said, ew. How does that make it a golden fizz that has nothing to do with the name? I've never heard of a golden fizz. I just know that to make things fluffy on the top. Yeah, you add in an egg white. Yeah, and I wouldn't call it fizz. I'd say froth. Yeah, that I know, but that, then, then the name makes no sense. You didn't know that that was a golden fizz. See, fizzy is mixing it up, because it doesn't make it fizzy, it makes it frothy. I didn't make the fucking questions. <laughs> you gave me these. You got it wrong, so take them off. I, I, didn't, take them them I didn't technically get it wrong. <laughs> you, did, you, did, you got it wrong like four times. You said champagne, you said all, all types of shit. It That's because I was misled. Ooh. I just broke the chair. How? This is the second chair I've broken on this channel. How? My, my fat ass just broke the chair. You're kidding. How? I think you just have to screw that back in. No, I totally snapped it. How the fuck? Oh my god, you look like you're gonna go beat an ogre. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm gonna beat something! Living spaces! This isn't even Ikea. How the fuck? I just fully broke a chair. I'm running out of chairs. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking them off with my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Material girl. <laughs> Butt naked on YouTube. Well, everybody, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like it and subscribe for future videos. I put them out weekly, usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but sometimes I'm late, just like your mom. And thank you to Aris for helping me with this video. Honestly, Aris, this is kind of like you being paid. Look at the view you get. It's a view I've had for years. <laughs> X on the beat. <laughs> also, in the comments, let me know if you thought that was bullshit because that was... That, I would never need to know those things in real life. If you would like to see me attempt this again, maybe with another bartender, so I could see if I'm not the only one who doesn't know this, in the comments down below, let me know if you knew these and I didn't because that's a bunch of bullshit. Arisa's Which, trying to say she did I didn't even make these up. You didn't know shit. Whatever. I knew the ones you didn't, bitch. Shut up. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I'm Mike from GTV, and you're fucking welcome.